In the version 1, the V1 of the dex hand, the servers are arranged with 8 up in the palm area itself, 8 microservers, and 8 back in the forearm area. In addition, there are two slightly larger servers which drive the wrist, um, a picture newer here, and a third large, as in standard size servo, which drives rotation all the way back at the elbow joint. These eight are arranged in pairs. Each pair on the palm section which corresponds to the finger drives the yaw, which is sideways, and the pitch, which is up and down, or flexion and extension, of the finger, just at the knuckle joint. So it's these pairs each drives, so one kind of hidden here. And that makes it nice fast action. Thumb is not, unfortunately, on the V1 able to have the same arrangement, so these go back through the wrist. The long tendons of the fingers on this setup are driven by these four here, but really they could go to any of them. Um, and then the four servers which drive the thumb action, which are the two um, intiate rossus equivalents really, one rotation and one flexion here, they're buried under these inserts. So we can have a quick look at those. To get these open, you have to unhook the wrist tendon. Yes, it's a tendon. And then this one lifts up, which has one servo attached to it. And this is, as you can see, moving the thumb. And there's a screw here. And then this is actually pierced by the wrist ligament, wrist tendon. So that's as best as I can show you. But nonetheless, you can now see there's one more there. And um, there's this one here, and then there's two more buried, and you can just kind of see where the tendons attach here and here. So those are the four which in this setup drive the thumb, and then these are the two slightly larger motors which drive the wrist. And that's how the servos are laid out in the V1.